Today, we're gonna custom paint a pair of slip-on Vans. So this shoe is a natural oatmeal color, and I think it will work great for our canvas. Not to mention, there are no laces on these shoes, which makes it easier for me. I'm a huge fan of that. All right, we have no time to waste. We are hopping right into this. Okay, so I am kind of inspired by the fall colors outside, and that might not translate to this beautiful canvas, but I have something cool in mind. So for this pair of shoes, I plan to paint a vintage map right here and it's gonna be a made up land. So that's really exciting and I think it will add an element of adventure. And for the rest of the shoe, mm, you just have to wait and see. All right guys, guess what? We have a guest, my husband. <laughs> He's gonna paint. Here it goes. He's gonna paint on the shoe. We're making a little island. My painting babe. It has a volcano. Hold on, what? We're just doing outlines. There needs to be a volcano on this island. Oh my goodness, what? It's how it came to be. Can't you see? There it is. Hang on, I'm gonna make this side. This is like a really bold area. The island of Volterra, right? Cause it's like vol volcanic, you know Volterra. what I mean? That kind yeah, of Yeah, it's like, rocky and desolate. That kind of sounds like Twilight, like the Volturi. Well, that's not what it comes from at all. It's not related to vampires in any way, especially ones with sparkly skin. Is there any dangers on this island? Yeah, there's a volcano. They, it makes lava. Like what about creatures? Um, yeah, fire dudes. All right. That live in the volcano and you gotta watch out. All right, you heard him. Don't go to the island in the middle of the right shoe. Near the second toe. And if you fire do, dudes. bring water, because it's hot. And an air mattress, because it's just rocks, so. You want a good place to sleep. Yeah. Unless you want to chill out in your boat. I mean, that's true, but watch out. What if the volcano explodes? You might not be safe. Might not be safe. All right. Thanks for contributing to my shoe. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, watch the water behind you. Yep. There have been many a spill on my channel. Not today. People are starting to call me clumsy, babe. What? I know. That is a funky looking place. Okay, so the maps are pretty much mapped out. We know where everything is now, so we're gonna do some details. And as I said, we have work to do back here. Okay, I just ate dinner. We are going to finish these shoes, and I'm really excited. So the outside is this light brown, and I want the inside to be a little bit of a darker brown because the fabric sort of splits right here. So we're gonna play off of that. I just need to make sure I have enough paint mixed ahead of time, because I'm gonna need a lot of this color. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, great, thanks. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys down here with me. Mm -hmm. 
boom, we've got it. Guys, I think I want to do something very unique for these shoes. So, so far we have like the tan and the brown and this map up here. I think we're going to do some little diluted washes with similar colors. And then this is where it gets a little interesting. And after that, we're gonna take a ballpoint pen and do some details. And I know there's the question like, but what if it rains? Well, guess what? That's why there's different types of like sealants and stuff out there that we can apply to the shoe when we're done. We have a very dilute paint over here. You can see it's very watery. This is what we're gonna use for our maps. I think we'll do this for the land. Oh my goodness, this looks so cool. I kind of like how it, uh, the diluted stuff bleeds out into the ocean. So I, I don't think I actually will do blue. I don't know, I'm still thinking about it, but this looks so cool. <laughs> Man, that is sick. I'm happy with it. <laughs> so the heel here has a compass on it. And because this is like the map of the earth, I want to sort of embrace like the universe with these shoes. So I think I'm going to do like the moon and the stars over here. Or I could do the sun. I could do a moon and the sun. We'll see. I don't know, that, that might be a lot. Decisions. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we'll do a moon. And then some stars. This is like an inverse night sky. <laughs> This is the part like I'm a little nervous for, but we're, we're just gonna go for it. I really wanna do this, so. Hey guys, it's the next day and we are going to finish these shoes. So late last night, we messed around a little bit with these maps. We're gonna really go to town today. I'm really loving how the ink technique with a ballpoint pen is turning out on these shoes. So we're gonna continue with that. And again, we will seal these in at the end, so it's protected from the elements, you know. Also, I'm so obsessed with how the back of the shoes turned out. It just makes me wanna travel the world, like, does this not make you want to go places? Ah. Okay, I think I actually need to turn the shoes this way so I can see what I'm doing. I definitely think I enjoy customizing shoes without laces better. It just feels like I have more art to make on the shoe because the laces aren't taking up most of it. And this just feels like such a nice big canvas. Also, I don't know if you guys have ever worn this particular style of Vans, but they are very comfy. I used to have the black and white checkered ones back in the day and I loved them. Oh, 
Okay, so the maps have like the old inky outline, except now we need to add like more to it, I think. I think it looks sweet so far. And I really like that the inside is this like dark brown and the outside is this light brown. I just think it makes it look like almost two entirely different pairs of shoes. Like one is very moody and the other is very like subtle. <laughs> so I want to do little things to show like this is the water and like maybe some mountain ranges and stuff and through here. I think it would be really fun and just add that pop of detail that I'm looking for. I decided to add some little like forests and I really think that makes the map become more map-like. That's sweet. This little piece of land down here is like nothingness. Maybe undiscovered territory. <laughs> Except for me, because I'm the map maker. Yay. Oh yeah, we need to make this look like water. I think I want to hide a little sailboat on one of these. <laughs> Just a fun little small one. You know, you gotta have fun with this. And whoever wears these shoes, I'm sure they would love a little sailboat. This sailboat is traveling to the other shoe. But it's, it's gonna hit some little islands first. But it can land on this island here and then walk over to the other edge of that island and be on the other shoe. Mm, so cool. Now I kinda feel like I should put another sailboat over here somewhere, because this shoe has way more detail than this shoe. I think I'll do the sailboat like right here. Okay, so this piece of land here, it's supposed to be kind of like a giant desert with some mountains. In order to convey that, I think I'm just gonna do some little like flat dashed lines. And then maybe there will be like a little lake down here. Okay, so I think that's good. I don't think I should do any details on the sides of the shoe because sometimes less is more. All right, so we painted our map shoes and I think they turned out really well. You actually have to hold them this way because it's supposed to be right side up for the people looking at your kicks, you know what I mean? So if you enjoy customization stuff like this, I actually do a lot of it on my channel. So I will link the ones I'm like most excited about down below in case you want to watch them. I hope you have a good day and I hope you feel inspired to create something today. Even if it's just a doodle, or maybe you want to create kindness and go be nice to the people around you. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon in another video.